is so low right now. Just imagine being this person whose number one priority when trying to find a freelancer is not getting scammed. This is the whole premise of this article recently published on the All Business website, Your Small Business Advantage. How to find a web developer you can trust. A big challenge for any startup building a website is finding a qualified and trustworthy developer who isn't a scammer. Not whether they have the tech skills, not whether they have those coding chops, those communication skills, but is this person going to scam me? Not surprisingly, I'm so freaking fatigued. I'm not even gonna address, I'm not even gonna dive into it. She hired her first freelance web developer from Upwork next. So after she got scammed by someone on Upwork, she got scammed again, this time based on the recommendation of a friend. Long story short, this guy ghosted this woman, apologized and promised he'd finish the job, but he disappeared before finishing the job. Then she goes on to deliver seven tips for hiring a reliable and presumably trustworthy freelance web developer. Number one, ensure they read your job description. Number two, does the timing make sense? Number, where, where the hell's number three? I'm so damn confused. <laughs> number four, you get what you pay for. Number five, conduct a thorough background check. Conduct a thorough background check. I mean, uh, maybe what you're trying to get his credit score or number six, handling payments. Number seven, when all else fails, test. How about number eight? Hire someone locally with work experience, with clients you can contact. Developers, there are so many opportunities for you right now to make a lot of freaking money. Just don't scam and show up to work. I would argue that it's never been easier to get a freelance gig in some of these markets and the money is there. This goes for a lot of these sectors. Half of these people aren't even showing up for work. The other half are scamming. Shameless plug, check out my course and book, Freelance Newbie. It's helped hundreds of developers get into the industry, not by scamming, not by selling their services on Upwork or Fiverr, but by doing it the old fashioned way, getting clients in their local community and making that money. I just thought this article was equal parts entertaining and equal parts depressing. Bar or standard? What bar or standard? There's neither of those. Developers, go get that money.